Firmware update. It tweaks the LED's behavior. Switching modes has been changed, for better or for worse. And most importantly, support for the dedicated controller mode has been added, functioning just like hotties. Note that on the PS4, the English version of Future Tone does not have the dedicated controller mode. So Dow's slider style has also been kept. Switching colors hasn't been changed. Headphone jack support for the Switch turned out not to be viable with the hardware, so don't expect it. In this version I tested, the 16 key mode has been removed, mostly because it didn't really have any use. Did anyone actually use it? Apparently it wasn't any good at its original intention, a seemingly disappeared tune them simulator. Anyway. To update, you need to use a PC. Keep the LED power unplugged for now. After downloading and extracting the firmware to a folder, there are two firmware files to update. If you haven't already, unplug both the USB Type-C LED power cable and the USB Type-B controller cable. To update the main unit, hold left, down and right while connecting the USB Type-B cable to the controller. The PC should then report host MCU connected. Run update v1.1.exe, click connect, Select the host MCU file, update, wait, and done. Pretty sure you can just close the software, but I click disconnect first anyway. Unplug the cable again. This time hold R1, R2, and R3 buttons. Plug the cable back in. Now you should see LED MCU, connect again, and repeat using the LED MCU file, done. Unlike before, the controller has several different modes rather than a toggle. Each time you select a mode, the slider will light up to help give you a visual on what mode has been enabled. You can now double tap the function button to check what mode is selected as well. On the top left we have, for the PC, PC DAO slider style, PC PPD, these PC modes are represented in green on the slider. PlayStation 3 mode, to play Dreamy Theater, F and F Second, represented in yellow. The PlayStation 4 has three modes represented in blue, PS4 DAO style slider, PS4 Dedicated Controller, aka Arcade Mode, and PS4 XHD Mode. That's where the face buttons also act as the D-pad. Furthermore, for Switch, represented in red, Switch Dial Style Slider, and Switch Dedicated Controller. And lastly, there is a Custom Mode, which apparently will listen to custom drivers installed on the PC. This comes up in a purple hue on the slider. The exact button presses are still to be optimized, but basically, I suggested that a quarter of the slider lights up for Dial's style slider, half the slider shines for arcade mode, and three quarters of the slider for XHD. PlayStation 3 only has one mode so quarter shines, though for continuity, perhaps three quarters should shine as it is much like XHD mode. In any case, a quick demo. We can hear that in arcade mode, the slider causes sounds just like the arcade, and we can get away with using two hands to handle swipe notes much more reliably. Dow style still exists if you need or prefer it. It functions just like it did in my long review. I would say that there are two kind of confusing points now. Firstly, the controller requires being told what console you are using, where before it seemed to auto detect and just have a toggle between two modes. So, for example, if I unplug it from the Switch and plug it into the PS4, I have to hold the function key and enable the PS4 mode for the controller to be detected and usable. Secondly, you also need to make sure that the game has the dedicated controller set on when using dedicated controller mode, and off when using dial style. The game and controller don't talk to each other, so you need to set both. Other than that, it's so much better now with dedicated controller mode added and working. I personally am not a fan of Hottie's PS4 normal mode, so I am glad it has been left out in favour of Dow's slider implementation. All in all, now you're not really required to source the official Hottie's controller for the closest to the true arcade-like experience on your home console. That's pretty cool.